brace yourselves, winter is coming. What the writers of Game of Thrones didn't tell you is that Bran was actually in a wheelchair because he didn't trim his balls with Manscaped. Not sure what to get as a gift for the holidays? Well, Manscaped is the ultimate gift and they're here to change the men's grooming game. And you can get 20% off plus free shipping if you use code OFFICEBLOKES at manscaped.com. I uh, once used some traditional hair clippers to trim downstairs and uh, cut me open like hot butter, like Ooh. a knife through hot butter. Time to gear up, get yourself the perfect uh, gift of shaving this holiday season. I'm talking about Manscaped Perfect Package 4.0. The Performance Package 4.0 is the best in the business. The Hygiene Bundle includes the Lawn Mower 4.0, Weed Whacker, Boxers, Travel Kit. Have you got smelly feet? Manscaped are now offering the yeah. Foot Duster, Foot Deodorant. Uh, yeah, so anyway, 20% off plus free shipping with discount code OfficeBlokes at the checkout. Do it. Yeah. Uh, during the winter, you may be spending more time inside with your balls. Might as well make them beautiful. Why not? Get 20% off and free shipping with code OfficeBlokes at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com. Mm. Use code OfficeBlokes. It's time to join the Manscaped movements. These products are snow joke. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Collectively, we're two of the Office Blokes. Two, not three. Yeah, two. Office Bloke does, uh, it rhymes with scary hits of 2021. <laughs> <laughs> what are the problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what's up with him. He's got the scary hits. So he's been off for a couple of days with a poorly belly. So uh, pray for yeah. Daz. Hashtag pray for Daz and all that. Pray for his toilet seat. Yeah, especially the yeah. toilet seat. We need to hurry yeah. up and get sponsored by Kleenex, Andrex, or insert any of them there. Uh, any uh, <laughs> toilet producing, or toilet tissue producing uh, manufacturer. Yeah. Preferably, anyway. one, preferably ones with some sort of uh, lotion on it, some sort of... Like, aloe vera, bit of aloe vera. Aloe vera yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah Office Boat Daz is feeling oh, a bit dear. unwell, but he's all right, don't worry. He's going to be back in He'll a couple of days. Should be, yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah, and also we have a TikTok. So yeah. head over to TikTok, just type in the Office Blokes, like and subscribe or whatever it is you do over there get on it Why not? do it it's a bit of fun there's little bite-sized clips of us just taking the piss yep funny little skits and stuff yep, so yeah. i've got a few followers there aren't we so yeah. uh yeah, give it a go on. why not it's yeah. free trying to become influencers aren't we yeah yeah good luck with that one yeah but anyway you never know <laughs> you never know one day yeah right anyway yeah. uh ding productions we haven't done one of the videos for um, for a while yeah good old ding yeah nfl uh related content and this one yeah. looked right up our street nfl so. scary hits of the 2021 season with warning, warning in brackets next to it. yeah <laughs> which you know the, one of our biggest videos is nfl's biggest, biggest hits. hits and they're see, a lot of those hits for older like, they? old one from years ago where i think i think they're a bit maybe i don't know i've not seen these yet but illegal hits a lot, a lot of them, them were illegal weren't yeah. they which was pointed out to us at the time yeah uh, so you wouldn't expect them to be as bad on this but i bet they are let's see <laughs> maybe yeah. just maybe just not so many above the shoulders you know like, yeah and there was a lot of because you're not supposed to go in with your head and like you know clash heads are you that's, that's right yeah and a lot of the compilations we've seen people are doing that oh, still so yeah nasty you hear that they? crack it's horrific yeah isn't it? horrible so uh yeah we'll get into it nfl scary hits of the 2021 season let's do this yeah Drive from the 25. Ton of time, throws deep downfield. Adams cannot Ooh. haul it in. And Devontae is still down. So Adams took a He's shot. out there, isn't he? There was a late hit coming across the field. Ooh. It's that side one, one it was, yeah. That was Jimmy Ward. Ball is out. And that oh, goes wow. right to the helmet. I know they've got to commit to what they're going to do, but that seemed unnecessary. Like, But at the same time, just because you guys got a hold of him doesn't mean he's not going to get away. Yeah, you, of you've course, still got yeah. to do your job. It's, I guess some of them, like, maybe it's a missed time when the guy defender's coming in and he's thinking, shit, not going to get there. And it's sort of like a bit of a defensive mechanism, just puts his head down so he doesn't get hit, maybe. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Well, like you don't want to go in with your neck back, do you? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But like I say, he's obviously committed to it, hasn't he? And but, ooh, yeah, rough that's on that. Bad one, that. Down on the field. Back in a moment. Package for the Titans. Shotgun for Mahomes. Protection initially. Mahomes brought down. 
And the ball came out. Titans have it. David Long on the recovery. And Mahomes slow to get up. I didn't really see he that. He was hit down even... low. But then I think as he was going down trying to throw the ball, someone hit him in the chest and face area as well. Oh, boy. And you can see the concern evident from this Kansas City team as their leader. Contact doesn't stop him. Another look at Mahomes. And it's Jeffrey Simmons' leg five right oh, there into the hey, face hey. mask of Patrick Mahomes. So as Mahomes is going down, he's kind of whipsawed by Danico Autry forward. And Simmons coming from that direction goes into him. And that created the, the heavy blow there. Yeah. Nothing malicious, Ooh, wow. nothing dirty, just a hard... They were some big thighs as well, weren't they? Jeez, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's wow. it, obviously... It, it looked pretty innocuous, didn't it? It did. First? That's, really that's did. what I thought. It yeah. just kind of looked like he went down. Yeah. But just because, you know, we the first video we did where yeah. a lot of the hits are now supposedly illegal doesn't mean it's particularly that, safer does it no, like, you, you can't you can't mitigate things like that. absolute like that one that's purely accidental that one yeah. wasn't it you know the guy's gone down he, the other one was just coming through he's caught his thigh hasn't he but yeah, yeah he took a hell of a whack there you, you can tell and that i've obviously grown up in skate parks my yeah. whole life and you just know when you see someone on the floor the people that are usually like riding around in pain and stuff and screaming are all right absolutely. and it's when someone's not moving that's the floor the and you can just see that's when you worry isn't it the cogs are turning going I'm hurt yeah, you can see I'm with a the guy then that Mahomes you know he could just see his eyes couldn't he just completely spaced out wasn't yeah. he he took a hell yeah. of a hit rough here is Jones gonna take it and didn't get it he might be hurt Jabril Cox made the tackle Jones slow getting up. <clears throat> the rookie. For they are it, going oh, for it. Oh, oh yeah. man. Oh, it's got on there. Oh. Wow. And that'll be seen upstairs. Mike. I suppose they've got people watching for that. You know, like he's not steady on his feet. Yeah. Oh, Get him off because yeah. they can't risk. Absolutely, massively. You know, a serious injury. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit more of a big thing in our football, soccer, you know, yeah. even in our country now, we're head injuries now. Oh, yeah. They don't take any chances at all. They just, you know, if they're a bit unsteady, they just get them straight off the pitch. You've got to. Yeah. Got I, think to take have it I think we have uh, concussion substitutes these days as well now. That, where that's you can, a great can go thing. off for like yeah. five, ten minutes, but you can put a substitute on in place. Yeah. You know, so a team isn't down to like 10 men, but then you can bring them off again. And yeah, and put the other guy back on if they are all right. Yeah, yeah. But great the thing idea. Is it just, oh, it's a great idea. Yeah, because yeah. it just gives them time to assess them properly and not yeah. panic about, oh, we don't want to take him off because we, you know, we'll be down to ten. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You know, absolute way Keep, to do keeps it. Keeps the play going as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. Rather it does, than yeah. just stopping for ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, and then they obviously get proper medical attention and not rushing it. They do, you know, yeah. assess them properly, don't they? So fucking brutal. Some of yeah, some <laughs> of that. I mean, again, that one looks a, a bit innocuous again, yeah. didn't it? But yeah. when you look at it in replay, I think because he tried, he tried to dip to the right. To sort of turn in just as the other guy he came, came in, in, and he's kind of dipped his own shoulder in. into him. Yeah, yeah. Glennon is the backup quarterback for the Giants. Second down and ten. They're coming from the secondary. Bridgewater doesn't see it, and it's oh. incomplete. Oh. Bridgewater took a hit. I didn't see that. Tavon Young was applying the pressure on the blitz. A uh, blitz. Spencer is still down. And we'll step aside with 53 seconds to go in the first. Deontay Spencer up on his feet, walking to the locker room, and Gene Steratore back in New York. Gene, a lot of Broncos fans think this should have been a penalty. What did you see? Well, you, you, you've got a player that is in a defenseless posture, so any contact to the head or neck area is a foul. Second and one. Harris gets the first down just shy of midfield. Harris. We tend to go here. I tell you, it's one of the most poignant moments we saw last season. Oh, what an injury guy. Yeah, injured Seahawk here uh -oh. on that carry. And it is Daryl Taylor we've talked to. Has had all those great... Again, it didn't uh, look like anything, no, did it? missed it again, that one. It's nice to see the opposing player giving the ref a bit of a tap yeah. there. You know, because say, yeah, he needs looking at... A lot of these, like, they've absolutely smashed someone. Yeah. And they, they just walk away. They don't even look back. Yeah. 
You know, and it's like a proper... It's, it's, like, it's like a macho thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. I've done it, man. You know, I'm, yeah, yeah. And you know, start walking away, but, you know, but the, That little health. bit of concern there is yeah. nice. He's obviously I seen Manton and thought, yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I need to see a replay of that yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. Though. Disruptions in the pass game. <laughs> Neurological checks with Taylor. See if we can... See what happened on the play. And he's just engaged in the block with the guard, Trey Turner. And he got banged and twisted. Is that going to be his neck, do you think? It must have been. I couldn't see. I didn't see a big hit. A big hit. I'm just did. wondering whether he's, yeah, twisted his neck round or something. Yeah. It's, I suppose yeah. that's so easy to happen if you're, oh, if you're going to hit the floor and someone lands on top of absolutely, you. Absolutely, especially in situations like that where the ball is it's the main the main target. You've generally got quite a few people going in as well, yeah. especially around the, like the, the scrummy sort of area like that. Yeah. There's always a lot of people and everyone just dives in, don't they? That's no joke, that as well. No, not at all, no. And now we'll be... Certainly looked at at the uh, level one trauma center, the hospital nearby, which is third down at 12 for Cincinnati. Burrow spins, moving to his left, takes off, needs to get to midfield, Ooh. and he will not. Wow. Darnell Savage like came it. in. Oh boy. Let's hope he's okay. talked about Darnell Savage he goes low nothing malicious about the hit just extremely aggressive and boy he was the, the best thing as I mentioned T. Kenny on the break the best Ooh. thing is that his legs did come up under him and they were going to go in the air because had he's the watch, watch his head he hits his head on the turf as well Twice. Hold yeah on. yeah and I was going to say yeah, he got a hit and then he hit his head on the turf as well, didn't he? That? I think that's where the damage is done when his head's hit the floor, you know. I think that's think what so. knocked him out there. Yeah. Because that, that looked like the worst out of the two, yeah. for sure. But yeah, oh, I mean, he could have been twisted like a pretzel, couldn't he? Like they're right. saying, if his feet didn't come off the floor there. Yeah, of course. Wow. God, I mean, like, <laughs> that, that first video we did, uh, the biggest hits, was shocking. And I think there was more just full blown wax in yeah. that, you know, that, that were horrific to watch. This is a lot more of the the twists yeah. and the snaps and like the, you know, it's rough. I, I know it. what you mean. Yeah. 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 And trailing by three with 3.14 remaining in the first half. Here's Madison trying to get to the edge on first down. And Madison turns up field to get a couple to the 36-yard line. Al Woods tracked him down. And this is the kind of complimentary football that Mike Zimmer was talking about. Exactly what they've done, overcoming a third down and capitalizing on a crucial penalty. Then they overcome their own penalty in their own territory, the offense that is. I mean, they're they're just really bowing up on defense and confusing Russell Wilson. Kerry Hyder Jr. down for Seattle. While they tend to him, will step aside. That was a group. Oh, that was a fun group. Last 7-0 team, the 74 football Cardinals. Stumbling, oh. and to the 10, that's it, is Kylan Hill. And he was hit hard by Jonathan Ward, and Ward can't get up. They're both down. Definitely saw that one. Yeah. Boy, this was a vicious collision. Right on the knee, I believe, Joe. Let's take a look. But yeah, this was a big time hit. Oh, oh no. Wow. But Island Hill and Jonathan Ward. How could easily be They're still looking well, at both yeah, players after that collision. The rookie, Kylan Hill, that didn't look good at all. He's at least on the cart. And Jonathan Ward is still down. Well, here's a good picture we were hoping for. As Jonathan Ward with thumbs up. As he's carted off the field, they took his face. I'll tell you what, they've got some bottle, these guys, haven't they? Yeah. They, you know, going in for a tackle like that, just giving you, it absolutely everything. He's sprinting towards him. You've God got, knows what speed. You've got to be all yeah. in, haven't you? You've absolutely, got to be all yeah, in. Yeah. Although I Don't think have. you're probably going to get more hurt if you're not going all in yeah. in a sport like this. In general, yeah. Although yeah. he's sort of <laughs> he's sort of got himself hurt there, hasn't he? Yeah, but I think you're probably more like, like I think you're going to come out of more tackles worse. If oh, you're not fully yeah. going for it, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, they were saying all, all types of sports, you know, if you're going for tackles and things like that, it's 
bodily contact, you've got to go in with the same force as the other guy. Otherwise, yep, you're going to get hurt. Yeah. It's a bad one. Again, I've grown up with extreme sports, you know, and like I grew up on the X Games, things yeah, like yeah. that. That was what I always watched. And just because you see a guy put his thumb up while he's on the floor, the amount of times I've seen people that are really hurt yeah. and you've got to do the obligatory thumbs up yeah. to the crowd oh, so everyone okay. goes, hey, you know, everyone can, that gives people permission to carry on, carry on enjoying and enjoy the game. it. Yeah. But then he'll be going off going, oh. <laughs> I'm nearly dying. Yeah. Face mask off, but his arms. He was moving them before he left. Two young backup running backs coming together on that play. Roethlisberger. Charge loose, Claypool. That was more like the old one. He got it. Hammered. Levitt and Mullen there defensively, and Levitt needs to take a moment. Here comes the hammer part. Excellent play. Look at his shoulder. Oh, damn. And takes it into him. But he's the one who ends up taking the brunt of it. But a nice pass breakup by Levitt coming inside, hmm. trying to keep the head out of going into head-to-head -to -head contact and going up high. Stayed below the shoulder area, right in the strike zone, and broke up the pass. Should have got him with his shoulder rather than yeah, his head. Right yeah. now for it's been a shaky start. First down pass off the far side. It's incomplete. And there's a late flag. Taysom Hill lunging for the football. It's his same shoulder. Obviously defenseless. Mm. Yeah, just no reason for that at all. First no foul. Defense number 23. 15. Play. So first of all, we hope that Taysom Hill is okay. He's, he was carted off just a couple of seconds ago. James yeah, Winston spiral. was down on a knee. Certainly hope they're just checking his head and checking for a concussion. To play in the half. Tannehill gives it to Henry. Crashes down to the four as players come together. And you know, this whole Buffalo takeover of Nashville is overrated. These Titan fans have come out in big numbers to support their team. And there's an injured player for Tennessee. That's Taylor Lewan. Wasn't wow. moving much there, was he? No, is it, I, oh. I didn't even see what happened there because no, it was again, such a a coming together of people. Again, wasn't it? It's, yeah. I hope we get a, uh, a slow mo so we can actually yeah. see what happened there. But so, yeah. he's, he's, he's well gone. He's in, taking he? a hell of a hit there, hasn't he? he Clearly, is. he's well out. And he was he was fighting and scratching and, and came over the top of the pile and he hasn't moved since he hit the ground. Now, that's the eighth year pro out of Michigan. We'll be right back. These are live pictures of Taylor Lewan. Going to be helped on to the cart in his eighth year. His entire career spent here in Tennessee. He's been a fixture, a popular player here, a fan favorite. See him always fun-loving out and about in the community, the Predators games, and, and now our thoughts are with with Taylor as he's being helped up. Yeah, and his family. I mean, you know, he's, yeah. he's, uh, he's got a young family, and, and Taylor is an emotional leader on this team. He's, you see everybody on this team coming up to him, and, and I've known Taylor ever since he was, you know, in, at school in Michigan. Known him a long time. He's a great guy. I've got a great spirit about him, and uh, hope that everything is okay with him. As uh, You see him coming over the pile here. You see the corner of his head hit the back of the defender, and as he rolls over the pile, you just hope and pray for the best. Crash into Jerry Hughes there. Mm. I can't, I still can't it's figure still, out what happened. Hit his head as, as he was going through, I think, didn't he? I get it looked like it's, was it's he difficult out to. Before he hit the floor? Yeah, I'm not too sure whether his initial hit sort of about there, was it? On the back of something. Yeah, it's it's just hit the, the he hit, hit the back of the defender it's defender's back, didn't he? I think that's mm. what did it. But people, some of these guys gone off on stretches, haven't they? So people have to let us know how these guys got on. Hopefully, they're all okay and everything. Don't like seeing people but, get uh, injured. You know, no, not at all. No, I remember there was uh, 
it was a football player years ago broke his leg but it was a compound fracture maybe like 15 years ago yeah it might have been like David Bust was it for I think it Coventry against it, it, I think it was David sh- Bust for Coventry against United I think still, Im- still image of it on the paper in the paper in the sports yeah. section I looked at it I'm like I know why would you come on yeah you just <laughs> just it's horrific no <laughs> yeah. I, absolutely oh, it's things like that absolutely mm. horrific really are yeah but uh, most of these seem to be like head injuries don't they yeah head. I think which, head uh, and spine head spine yeah yeah which obviously the nature of the game that's probably your most vulnerable bits and that your head's yeah, I guess for so. yeah, yeah, yeah. the knockouts and the CTE yeah. and I mean, stuff I mean not these tackles when the light I expect to be more like legs and ankles as well actually knees you know getting tangled up and getting bent and yeah. things like that I mean but, you look at the size of these guys legs though oh well <laughs> I know it's true. not going to yeah, stop you breaking your leg in a collision but still there's some some meat there to pack it out of it yeah I suppose so yeah. yeah yeah big lads On first down, Darnold throws, Ooh. and a flag after the big hit laid on Marshall. Foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 23 has a 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Shoulder on there, I think. Yeah. That's Xavier Woods. There's no need for On that, a defenseless no. receiver. And you're not allowed to go in the head or neck area. Third and one for the Raiders. Derek Carr gets the necessary yardage. First down, Las Vegas. Somebody's down. And it's Derek Carr. He's run the sneak successfully multiple times this year. And there's the shot there for oh, Roquan oh, Smith wow. to put him down. It looked like a shoulder pad leading, and it was, and shoulder pad to the helmet of Derek Carr, to the Raiders' sideline, and made the motion, hey, he needs some help. It's time for San Francisco in the backfield. Here he is, the rookie out of Ohio State, and he's got a first down on his first run, but he lost the ball. It's picked up by Darius Slay. Philadelphia with a huge takeaway. Flag is thrown on the play. Slay finally takes it out of bounds. What a turn here in Philadelphia. And after all that, Sermon is still down. Sermon. It looked like he had a hit, but then he like, he face planted the floor, didn't yeah, he? And yeah. slid. Yeah. Again, that's probably like spinal. It probably is. Up a bit. Like that. <laughs> for I mean, sure. I don't, but it sounds like you can't go for the head, can you? With your shoulder pad or, but they seem to get like a yardage penalty against them. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, people, again, people let us know about this. If there's any more bigger sanctions, like do people get sent off for it or did they go, you know, lose a player or the, the, the I thing don't that, think they do, do they? But, no, they don't. The thing that baffles me with this is when a player gets sent off, they just bring another player on. Yeah. Which that doesn't. So I know that there's probably going to be a difference in skill levels and One abilities. might be better than the other, but yeah. You know, but, like you send off Ronaldo and you bring on yeah, someone yeah. else, or, you know, like if it was going to be football. But at the same time, I think playing with a player down is always going to be. The punishment oh, of course. for well, for... There's more jeopardy. There's got to be some jeopardy, aren't there? Yeah. There's got to be a punishment that fits mm. the crime. If it's that bad, you know, the head injuries and things that, you know, maybe make the punishment a bit more severe. Yeah. I don't know. What do I I don't maybe know. maybe they have done over the years, but it'd be nice to, uh, yeah, some of them guys out there let us know. A lot of these don't look intentional. They are just True, yeah. a part of the game. You know, it's definitely, a very rough game, isn't it? They definitely don't look as, look as intentional as... The ones from years ago, you yeah. know, they were malicious. The a lot, of, them, a lot of them were just like, "Yeah, I'm okay. going to take this guy out here." So, yeah, these are kind of coming together of people, and then I think a lot more are definitely. Gone, I think they? one or two were a bit sort of, "Yeah, I'm going to give him a yeah. bit of a yeah. dig here," but yeah, I think quite a few of them look like, they're, yeah, sort of unintentional, but still rough, isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> yeah, very much so good, Finally, yeah. gets the call. His first touch in the NFL. He loses the ball and had some injury to the play. Oh, Slade yeah. takes it back. Wow. He got a rough. Like, he obviously, we'll have to sort out the penalty marker as well. as well after all of this. Or whatever. That was a big time throw by Wilson, who's going back to the air here. Taking a deep shot down the field, and it is nearly intercepted, but a flag comes out. Keelan Cole, the intended target. And Wilson is slow to get up. 
And if that is defensive pass interference, that's the fourth one of over 40 yards for the Jets. And unfortunately, Zach Wilson is still down on the ground. Oh, wow. Pass interference. Defense. Number 23. Ball's placed in the spot of the foul. First down. And when I say upset, I don't think they're upset at Judon. I think they're upset that Wilson appears to be seriously injured. And Wilson remains on the ground. We'll step aside and come right back. That's a yeah, tough so one. I, I wonder if he's if he's broken something. That might have been his leg because it was a really awkward. Yeah. As he threw, he kind of got taken from the side. And you see how he was like, he's just constantly moving while he was yeah. on the floor. Maybe it was. That, that seems like, like that. a, you know... Yeah, maybe. A lot of the head and spinal ones, people are just still on Which the I floor. Which I think most of those were, weren't they? Yeah. By the look of it, most of them had yeah. head, spine, neck. And well, they, that I was think, like... I think half of them were just knocked out, weren't they? They were just yeah. completely <laughs> result. That's, that just seemed like an awkward one, like maybe it's... Maybe yeah, a, maybe a twisted or, something or... Yeah. yeah, could have been. I yeah, bet, definitely. I, I bet dislocated shoulders are a big thing as well, you know. I was going to say, yeah, something like that. Mm. The, you know, the pace and the power that they're going in, you yeah. know, it's got to be a big thing, doesn't it? Especially if you think someone throwing like that with a load of power, if they get tackled from the yeah. side or whatever, you can see shoulders popping oh, out. Absolutely, instantly. yeah. You see some of the landings as well that are, that are happening as well mm. on the heads, but it could quite easily be your shoulder as well. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah, they can just pop out anytime, can't they? Different but types were, of hits from the first video. Oh, the, the vast absolutely. majority, but still yeah. fucking brutal. I think, oh, absolutely. Yeah, some of them are absolutely well brutal, aren't they? They're definitely not as, you know, Definitely not as on purpose as the first lot we've seen. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Like, like we said before, the first one seemed very malicious and very spiteful. A lot of them, like, I'm going to snap yeah. you in half. I'm going to make been, sure you know I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> they've come from half a pitch away just to snap you in half. Yeah, and just got in, like, head first yeah. and really, really taken them out. But, so some of them but, seem to be a lot more... It's a coming together of people, and then it's just in the, in the it's the will of the gods. They did it's seem literally a bit just more like, accidental, didn't they? Yeah. You know, uh, if you flip but, and land on your neck, funny, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, sort of thing, yeah, you know? true. Yeah, but Jesus, it's just it's still, yeah, still absolutely horrific brutal, to watch. They? Yeah. Really were, yeah. Oh wow, yeah, wow. Well, Some deep breath now. <laughs> have to let us know in the comment section. Hopefully, all those guys were all right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let us know how they were. I'm fairly certain I did hear Bill Burr say that the average pro career is about three years, though. Really, in, in football. Three years. I'm sure he said that. I can't. Ref I can't give you the source. I just think I've heard Bill Burr say it on his podcast. And that's because of like injuries. I'm assuming. Well, I mean, if it's pro career, then maybe they've done college football for a few years before it. Yeah. Uh, All right, Then okay. they're in the NFL, and I know it's cutthroat. Apparently, as a sport, so maybe a lot of people just just drop out. They get a couple of years and, and then they don't make the cut. Yeah, or maybe people get injured or younger, fitter people come in. Or yeah. I, I, I don't know, but. It's a very like that's a short career, isn't it? If it's three yeah. years. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's average. So obviously, yeah. you probably and people are going yeah, to let me know if that stats yeah. right or not. But there's going to be tons of people that their careers ten years, fifteen years, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure there will be. But I think you know, just one of those whacks and it's your a, career's over. It's a tough sport, isn't it? Really, really, is. <laughs> really yeah. is. It's, and it's something that I think gets lost in videos like this for non-American football fans. Like yeah. we don't watch it a lot. The size of the guys. Oh yeah, I mean they're so athletic as well, aren't they? Yeah. So fit. I mean, yeah. the, the speed and the power of these guys is absolutely phenomenal. And the big units to get about the pitch yeah. as well, aren't they? That sometimes when they do like a slow mo, they need to put a normal sized person next to them <laughs> for proportion. <laughs> yeah, and say yeah, you think proportionality. You, you yeah. think you could take that hit? Here's a normal sized person, and here's the guy that just snapped him in half. Would it be? Would like, be? Would it be funny if you had like a normal NFL team and then just put them against? bunch of like normal guys like people like my size or yeah, you know it'd be a in a team you look at against it and be like really <laughs> I think I'd be small uh, for that compared to you know, these guys probably yeah, yeah. I'm 6'2 I'm and in American units I think I'm about, 200 and about 225 pounds yeah and I don't think I'd be a big unit yeah <laughs> I wouldn't be happy. I'd just I'm staying away from it mm. <laughs> yeah. last two minutes yeah well, uh, I enjoyed it anyway it was a good video yeah. yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it too yeah. uh, don't forget like and subscribe and all that good stuff pray for Daz yeah go on Daz you'll be fine yeah it'll be alright and uh, we will catch you on the next one That's cheers fun. guys cheers.